All right, this video, we're going to look at an example where we're going to solve um, a consecutive odd integer. So I'll underline that, odd integer. Um, for, we're going to do number two, and it's saying three consecutive odd integers. So again, I go right to the setup, first, second, third. I always, always, always put x as the first integer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a common mistake of what students do with consecutive odd integers. Um, I know when I do consecutive even, it's x, x plus 2, x plus 4. Here's the common mistake, so you don't have to take this down is x plus 1, x plus 3. As soon as they see that word odd, they think, oh, well, it's got to go up 1, 3, 5, 7, because they're odd numbers. But the reason why it doesn't work, this plus 1, <clears throat> remember, if you have consecutive odd integers, it still goes up by 2 in between. So let's say this x was, let's say this x was 5. Well, if I do here, 5 plus 1, it gives me 6. That's not an odd integer. So consecutive odd integers and consecutive even integers are going to have the same setup. So instead of plus 1, plus 3, it's still going to be plus 2, or plus 2 and plus 4. All right, so that's our setup. So same setup for consecutive odd and consecutive even integers. All right, and then it's saying it's almost kind of like the other two that we did, saying the sum of these three. So again, these are all lined up with the like terms, 1x, 2x, 3x and then 2 plus 4 is 6. And then it's saying, all right, sum of three consecutive odd integers, which is this, 3x plus 6, it's saying this is negative 219. It's the same thing as saying equals. So we set it equal to negative 219. Uh, and then we solve for it, right? We just have two steps. So we subtract 6 from both sides. So we're going to have 3x equals uh, negative 219 minus 6 is negative 225. Then we divide both sides by 3. And let's put this in the calculator. So negative 225 divided by 3 is negative 75. Remember, when you solve for x, you should only get whole numbers. If you didn't get a whole number, then you did something wrong with your setup or with solving the equation. All right, and then remember, it's saying find the integers, even though integers is misspelled there. Um, find all the integers. So negative 75, that's just the first. So plug negative 75 into the other two expressions. So the first integer is just negative 75. The second integer is negative 75 plus 2, which is negative 73. And then the third integer is negative 75 plus 4, which is negative 71. So those are the three integers. And if you check it, if you add negative 75, negative 73, negative 71, all right, so if you added all three of those, it equals negative 219, and you know you did the problem correctly.